Hey guys, 2021 is going as rough as 2020. And since we are all isolated in some way or the other, it's a good option to indulge in some games. If you are looking for all the new games coming out in 2021 for consoles and PC, we are here to help you. Though there are tons of games with the release dates not out yet, we have shortlisted some of the biggest games yet to come in 2021, from the month of May onward, of course. So enjoy the video! Number 1. We have Deathloop The protagonist Colt is an assassin with 8 targets, but he is stuck in a time loop. If he dies, the loop restarts. He has to take out all the targets before midnight. Even if one is left alive, the loop restarts and undoes all his work. Colt retains memories from each loop, learning the behaviors and patterns of all party goers to figure out the right order of elimination using guns, melee attacks, and other environmental means. That loop is not strictly timed, so players have more freedom to explore the game world. You can use a combination of stealth, parkour, and attack skills like in Arkane's previous games Dishonored and Prey. Interestingly, the game also features a multiplayer aspect in which the player can alternatively take the role of Juliana, an agent tasked to protect the time loop and take out Colt. Deathloop will be releasing on 14th September and will be available on PS5 and Windows. Number 2. We have Far Cry 6 Far Cry 6 is a first-person shooter game set in Yara, a fictional Caribbean island inspired by Cuba. It can be described as the largest Far Cry playground to date and a tropical paradise frozen in time. Yara is ruled by a dictator, El Presidente, Anton Castillo, who is raising his son Diego to follow his rule. Castillo wants full control over the island while Diego wants to empower the people with existing resources to take their country back from dictatorship. There is an unseen conflict between the father-son duo and there is conflict happening within the country. The player takes the role of a local Yaran and guerrilla soldier Danny Rogers attempting to topple Castillo and his regime. You can select Danny's gender at the start of the game. Amidst interesting storyline and beautiful gameplay and graphics, we are sure you will not get bored of it anytime soon. Far Cry 6 was to release in February this year but has been delayed. Rumors say it will release around the third quarter of 2021. Number 3. We have Gran Turismo 7 The Gran Turismo series needs no introduction. With the release of powerful consoles with haptic feedback, ray tracing, SDR 10 Plus and 3D spatial radio, Gran Turismo 7 is going to blow your mind with amazing graphics. On PS5, it can run at 4K resolution and 60fps with support for a high dynamic range, so you can very well take advantage of all the scenic places that you will drive through. This game brings back the GT simulation mode. Other classic features include the return of traditional racing tracks and vehicles, special events, championships, driving school and GT Auto while still retaining the new GT Sport mode that was introduced in Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo 7 is supposed to be released by the end of 2021, but it might get delayed into next year. Number 4. Crossfire X It is one of the most action-packed games going to be released this year. If you liked Counter-Strike Global Offensive, then you are going to love this one. The story explores a global conflict between Blacklist and Global Risk, two private hostile military factions. The two opposing teams compete in three game modes to complete objectives. Classic mode sees the attacking team attempting to plant a bomb while the defending team has to stop them. All players are equipped with basic weapons. The Spectre mode is a variation of the Classic mode where the attacking players are Spectres equipped with only knives and they can stay invisible when not moving. There is also a Modern mode in which the two teams need to fight for maintaining control over two objective points in a map. The single player portion, which would not be free to play, consists of several operations. Each operation includes several episodes. At launch, there would be two operations available. Crossfire X will be released for Xbox only in 2021. For number 5, there's Evil West. Launched with a very enticing trailer, the game has fully upgradable special weapons, firearms, lightning-fueled gauntlet and gadgets, and lots of action. As one of the last agents in a top-secret vampire hunting institute, you, as Jesse Rentier, are the final line between humanity and a deep-rooted terror that now emerges from the shadows. Rise up to become a Wild West superhero, eliminate the vampire threat, and save the United States. In the usual setting of frontier towns, 
bars with swinging doors, people riding horses and lots of open space. There's an added twist of vampires. You can kill bloodthirsty monstrosities in a style as a lone hunter or in co-op with a partner. Explore and fight in a narrative-driven campaign while upgrading your weapons and hunting tools. Evil West will be available on PS4, 5, Xbox Series 1 and PC. Number 6 is Gotham Knights. Batman is no more and so is Commissioner Gordon. Upon receiving a pre-recorded message from Batman, four new heroes have stepped up to continue his legacy, Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing and Red Hood. While it can be played solo, the game also features a two-player co-op multiplayer mode, wherein the second player can drop in and out anytime without affecting the other one. They can also use the Bat Cycle to explore the city. Players can level up their characters, but enemies will automatically be leveled up as well. Each character has their own unique playstyle and abilities. For example, Robin can teleport via Justice League satellite. Then there's invisibility, super power smashes, and so much more. Gotham Knights was to be released in 2021, but unfortunately, it has now been postponed to 2022. Next, we have Back for Blood. In the times of COVID-19 pandemic, Back 4 Blood is kind of relatable because it takes place after an outbreak caused by a newly discovered parasite, which is implied to be of alien origin, by the way. Most of humanity has been infected and turned into the Ridden, leaving players in a post-apocalyptic world. A group of veterans called the Cleaners come together to fight off the zombies. The gameplay of V4V is largely similar to Left 4 Dead. It is a 4-player co-op game and 8 players in a PvP mode with focus on multiplayer and replay ability. As a new feature, players need to build a deck with cards at the start of each level that adjust various elements of gameplay such as modifying the player's health, damage and stamina. Along with player cards, the AI director will also use corruption cards against the player to hinder their progress and he can also spawn extra enemies, activate a fog effect and increase the size of the horde. This multiplayer first-person shooter game is slated for release on 22nd June. Next up we have Chivalry 2. If you miss some vintage gaming feels and graphics, then Chivalry 2 will transport you to some years back. In this multiplayer slasher, players are thrust into the action of every iconic moment in medieval era battles, from the thunder of cavalry charges to storms of flaming arrows, sprawling castle sieges and more. You can even dominate massive 64 player battle fields. Its closed beta version began on April 23rd this year. Open beta will be available from May 27 to June 1st and the final game is slated to release on 8th June. It will be available on PS4, 5, Xbox and Windows. Next on our list is Bright Memory Infinite. The game takes place in a mesmerizingly beautiful world combining science fiction and Chinese culture and is created using Unreal Engine 4. The player has the role of a female protagonist, Special Operative Sheila, who tries to protect an unusual substance capable of reviving the dead. One private military organization tries to steal the substance for its own demoniac ends. Sheila is warped along with the enemy squad to an island floating over the North Pole where mythological creatures like dragons and demons roam alongside resurrected human corpses. You can take down those ancient mythical beasts and the futuristic enemy soldiers alike in a stylish combo-focused sword and gunplay combat mechanism. A small part of the game named Bright Memory was released last year, but Infinite is going to be the full and final version of the game. By employing an FPS-style POV, you can discover and solve various puzzles throughout each stage to advance. Bright Memory Infinite will release for Xbox, XS and PC towards the end of 2021. Up next for number 10, we have Lord of the Ring Golem. Gollum is one of the most fascinating characters in the world of Lord of the Rings. Athletic and agile, sneaky and cunning, he is driven by the desire to once again hold in his hands what he lost. The decisions you make and the way you play have direct influence on Gollum's personality that is always struggling between the two sides embodied by Gollum and Smeogol. It is up to you to decide whether the darker side of Gollum takes over or if there is a spark of reason left in what once was Smeagol. One mind, two egos, you decide. The action-adventure game is still under development by Daedalic Entertainment, but the graphics and trailers look really promising. It was scheduled for release in 2021, but has now been postponed to 2022. It will be available on PS4, 5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and Windows. Now we have Dying Light 2. The game is set in The City, 
which is a massive urban open world set in Europe. The story begins 15 years after Dying Light, starring a new protagonist named Aiden Caldwell, who is equipped with more than double the parkour moves than the first game. Aiden is an infected person, but his symptoms are somehow controlled. He can use superhuman skills due to this infection. The map here is four times bigger than the original game, which is broken into seven distinct regions. Players have to make decisions with far-reaching consequences for different factions and settlements. Making certain decisions will open up or seal off areas in the city, encouraging players to complete multiple playthrough. It is set to release by 2021 end. Now one of my favorites, Horizon Forbidden West. This game has created quite a stir among its fans with PS4s. PS4's DualShock isn't equipped with the tech necessary to imitate Aloy's surroundings the way PS5's DualSense haptic feedback system can. Players will really be able to feel the grass around Aloy when she runs through bush, which is an impressive feat. Although the makers are claiming that we shouldn't worry too much about the big sensory discrepancy between the two versions, guess we'll have to just wait to find out if the disparity between PS4 and PS5 really affects the experience of this multi-generational game. After the criticism received for two simplistic and easy human combats in Zero Dawn, Forbidden West might largely do away with the problematic contrast by keeping Aloy from fighting so many humans to give us more of the machine combat we love. Number 13. Evil Dead The Game It's going to feature both co-op and PvP combat gameplay as well as skill tree mechanics. It captures the look and feel of the Evil Dead franchise in all its glory with realistic visuals and a physics-based gore system that brings the horror to life. You play as a team of four survivors, Ash Williams and his friends, exploring, looting, crafting, managing your fear and finding key items to seal the breach between worlds. An interesting thing is that you can play as good or evil. Fight for the forces of good or take control of the powerful Candarian demon to hunt Ash and other players while possessing deadites. Up next is The Day Before. It kind of looks like a mixture of Last of Us and The Division, but it stands out with luscious graphics, amazing vehicle gameplay and so much more. The Day Before is an open-world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons and cars. In the survivor colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with other players. You can take anything from abandoned buildings, but there's a twist in the gameplay. Not all players are friendly. After the pandemic, you can discover the vast, beautiful world with stunningly detailed vehicles. The day before will come out by the end of June on PC. It has not been announced for consoles yet, but there's a possibility that it might come out on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Number 15 is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Rift Apart shares many gameplay similarities with the other entries in the Ratchet and Clank series. The main character Ratchet is accompanied by his robotic friend and sidekick Clank who is hung on his back. There will also be a playable female Lombax named Rivet in this version. This will be the first game in the series to introduce the concept of real-time near instantaneous travel between different areas, planets and other worlds. There are new planets in this game that were not seen previously in the franchise. Insomniac Games has confirmed that the game's arsenal would feature a mix of brand new weapons and returning classics from prior installments. It will release very soon and is already available for pre-order. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart will feature on PS5 only. Next up, Rainbow Six Quarantine. This is a three-player tactical co-op game set several years in the future of the Rainbow Six universe. Ubisoft says that the game's name might change due to the ongoing pandemic, but there's no confirmation on that yet. Developers have taken some interesting features several notches up as compared to the previous versions. It was supposed to release last year, but now it will release in 2021 on PC, PS4, 5 and Xbox One and Series X. Number 17 is Ghostwire Tokyo. Ghostwire Tokyo is Tango Gameworks' first foray into the action-adventure sphere with its flagship horror elements. Players can use psychic and paranormal abilities to defeat the ghosts and spirits that haunt Tokyo. The combat director describes its combat style as karate meets magic, as the character uses hand movements inspired by Kojikiri hand gestures to cast spells. 
when an enemy loses most of its health its core is exposed and the player can use take down moves to destroy it defeating the spirit you can spot all types of spooks in the game from headless cool girls to things that look like slender men to spooky child demons in rain coats ghost by tokyo arrives on ps5 and pc this year up next is halo infinite most likely halo infinite will be the last stand alone halo title for a decade 343 industries has no plans to make any other stand alone halo titles in the future instead halo infinite will act as a platform for further halo experiences in this game the master chief is ready to confront the most ruthless foe he's ever faced you get to start a new and step inside the armor of the master chief to experience an epic adventure and finally explore the scale of halo ring itself halo infinite will feature split screen again in response to the backlash of its removal in the previous game good news is that the game's multiplayer portion would be free to play the game will be released in late 2021 It will support both cross-platform play and safe progression between Xbox and Windows. Number 19 is Hogwarts Legacy. Non-gamer Harry Potter fans, this is your stepping stone into the gaming world. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open-world action RPG set in the 1800s wizarding world, which puts players at the center of their own adventures. Players will also encounter missions and scenarios that will pose difficult choices and determine where they stand. Experience the life at Hogwarts as you make allies, battle dark wizards and ultimately decide the fate of the wizarding world. Your legacy is what you make of it. Players will also be able to customize the character's voice, body type and whether they are a witch or a wizard. And what more? You will be allowed to choose your own Hogwarts house and attend classes at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The game will have a delayed release in 2022 on almost all platforms. Let's talk about Stalker 2. The game is set in a fictional version of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. The power plant has mysteriously exploded again in 2006, causing strange supernatural events that defy all scientific reasoning and spawning horrifying mutated beasts that roam around. Special artifacts provide special powers to the people who hold them, such as protection from radiation or increased natural healing. Because of their value, many have made a living sneaking into the zone to collect these artifacts to sell to the outside world. All of the people who operate within the zone's borders are known as stalkers. The protagonist is named Skiff. This game will feature an epic non-linear story that will be driven by player choice in both the short and the long term. Stalker 2 will be released in 2021 third quarter on PC and Xbox Series X. Moving on to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. The demonic game begins with a unique character customization where you select a character based on their background such as criminal, police officer, etc. where each offers different dialogue and interaction options. You also have to choose between three upgradable disciplines: vampiric abilities, mentalism, or nebulation. Each discipline has different abilities like gliding, levitation, transformation, and so on. And then You have to join one of the five vampire clans with each clan having access to its specific disciplines and upgrades. As a vampire you will need blood to survive and can feed on humans. You also have special ability to sense resonances in human blood. Feeding on specific resonances grants temporary enhancements to the player. For example, increasing their melee strength or seduction ability. Play cautiously to avoid getting eaten by other vampires. If you expose yourself too much, you lose your credibility. This game is releasing on 31st December. Number 22, New World. This is Aterno. It's a massively multiplayer online RPG where players have to choose a default geographical earth location called region to achieve their best game latency and a game server called World to begin the game playing solo. You play as one of the many explorers who are stranded on the island of Aterno. where you have to survive and find allies in a dangerous world where the fundamental laws of life and death don't apply the game allows a player to control a character or avatar within a game world in third or first person view the character enters the game starting as a level 1 by arriving on a beach the maximum obtainable experience is 60 now set to be released on 31st august this year this game was previously scheduled to be released in may 2020 but was delayed Next up we have Severed Steel. 
a unique game with a unique one arm protagonist named Steel who loses her arm just before the game starts and gets abandoned by the same corporation which is responsible for it named Edensis Steel begins her journey by liberating others crushed under the boot of Edensis while seeking revenge for her abandonment It's going to be a single player adventure with destructible environments and lots of bullet tricks for you to play while circling around the enemies Well, you can't reload as Steel has only one hand. So what you'll have to do is constantly throw, ditch and pick up new weapons. You can dodge enemies' bullets and tackle their moves by performing stunts like wall running, sliding and flipping. Over the course of the campaign, Steel gets an arm cannon mounted atop her residual limb. The arm cannon allows the player to exploit the fully destructible voxel environment to open shortcuts and rip apart the floor under enemies. releasing in quarter 3 of 2021 with dark electronic soundtrack as our second last game we have no more heroes 3 another third person action adventure game where the player must earn enough money from missions to pay entry fee into a ranked battle the player must defeat all the enemies and tackle obstacles to finally come head to head against a unique boss at the very end Unlike the previous versions, the city is now split into 5 unique islands which the player can explore with Travis on his new modified motorcycle, the Denzem Tiger. The makers have retained Travis's signature beam katana, the sword with a blade composed of energy with which one can perform new light and heavy combos. Filled with many other combat features like death blow, slash reel, flurry attack, wrestling mode, full armor mode and so on. The game is now looking more enjoyable and adventurous than its previous versions. No More Heroes 3 is set to release on 27th August. Let's see how the gamers like it. Last but not the least, we have Warhammer 40K Dark Tide. A primitive four-player co-op action game, it is set in the high city of Tertium, where a recon squad known as the Imperial Guards is sent to eliminate the uprising enemies. Developed and published by the famous Swedish video game studio Pack Shark, the game is going to use the earlier formula in which four players cooperate to defeat periodic waves of AI-controlled enemies. Now players will get a chance to fight together with their friends against hordes of enemies in this new Warhammer 40K experience. The game is planned to be released exclusively for Windows and Xbox Series X in 2021. Hope you all now have a rough idea about some games that will be releasing in the coming months. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Thank you and happy gaming with Winx Gaming.